Now we're going to run through a number of definitions. It's very important that you are familiar with these definitions. Most of them are fairly obvious from the names. So an isothermal process is one that's carried out at constant temperature. So for an isothermal process, there is no change in internal energy. And we also know from the ideal gas law that PV is constant. So if you see that something's isothermal, you can immediately assume these two equations. An isobaric process is a process carried out at constant pressure. Heat and work are generally not zero. In this case, the ideal gas law tells us that T on V is constant. And we saw in the last lecture that the heat transferred into the system is given by N C P delta T. An isovolumetric process is one that takes place at constant volume. When the volume does not change, no work's done. So work is equal to zero. And so the change in internal energy from the first law of thermodynamics is just equal to the heat flow. And we saw last lecture that the heat flow is equal to N C V delta T. Now here's something for you to try. Name each of the paths A, B, C and D on the PV diagram below. One of them is adiabatic, one is isovolumetric, one is isobaric and one is isothermal.